For a moment, imagine one of these little houses represents $1,000, and all of these other houses represent $10,000. Lastly, all of these houses represent $1 million. Elon Musk, a world-renowned multi-billionaire, has an estimated net worth of $188 billion, which is 188,000 monetary times the worth of those little houses you just saw. Again, imagine this is Bill, a regular 9-to-5 worker who barely has anything to show for all his years of work, not even $1,000 in savings. Worst is, Bill is heavily in debt, doesn't remember the last time he put $500 into his savings account, he is currently struggling to pay off his mortgage and credit card debts. His student loan is on the neck, he's tired of paying taxes, and he doesn't even understand why he pays them in the first place. That's not all. Bill's one-time dream of traveling the world, getting all of his desires, and living his best life is slowly fading away because, to him, the more he works, the less money he sees. Finally, Bill convinced himself that making money and being as rich as he desired only happens in the movies and it seemed that the wealthy had to have done something unlawful or dishonest to acquire such great fortune. And for the elites of society, they must have stolen or probably done something illegal to amass such wealth. With these thoughts alone, Bill has successfully entered the school of thoughts in the express road of 99% of the world's population, which believes making money or being successful is far-fetched and that to be successful, you need to either rob a bank hack into some secret account, con the government, or do something illegal. To this group of people, you just have to be shady, sneaky, and outsmart a number of people to have as much money as you want. So, there's no such thing as getting rich by simply doing a nice job or earning enough. In reality, a greater percentage of us are like Bill. We work hard, pay off our debts, pay taxes, but at the end of the day, there's nothing left. And slowly, our ambitions of earning money, becoming rich, getting all the nice toys, purchasing a new house, and finally paying off the mortgage begin to fade away. They all become wishes. Because there's no such thing as getting rich, and the to-do list cannot be outsourced. But what if I told you Bill has a distorted perception about money, and that's why he will never make it? Have you ever felt like the path to financial freedom was a road too hard to travel? No matter how hard you tried, you couldn't get there. Well, what if I told you that you were wrong? If I told you that there is an equation to wealth and a way to gain financial freedom, would you believe me? A journey filled with ups and downs awaits you. You must disrupt and disregard social advice. I'm not lying to you, but I must warn you that only a few will make it to the end of this road. However, for those who do, the rewards will be immense. You'll have the freedom of never having to worry about your financial situation. Buckle up and pay attention. This video will teach you more than a lifetime of education. If you've been chasing money for a long time now, it's highly possible that your guru must have brainwashed you. They tell you that you have to work hard, save a lot of money, and try different things to do as many jobs as possible to make as much money as possible. And you must have thought, oh, there's absolutely nothing wrong with doing this. After all, if I want to make money, then I need to work hard, switch jobs, and save as much as I can. After years of doing different jobs, overworking yourself, and saving over and over, it suddenly hits you like a ray of light that, if you're going to be rich, then this isn't going to be the way. You realize that saving your way to wealth looks like an impossible shot at making that kind of money you desire. You look around you and you see that you're getting older, years are passing by, your bank account, your standard of living are not improving. And if you've done your math, you already know that it would take a lifetime to reach your financial goals, travel, and live the kind of life you've always wanted. If you've reached this stage of discovery, then congratulations, you finally understood that saving money, doing multiple jobs, working hard won't make you rich. Whether you work 70 hours a week, do three jobs a day, save every penny you earn, or contribute regularly to a 401k. And the bitter truth is, your guru lied to you. He or she psychologically brainwashed you and programmed you to think that chasing money, saving, and all of the other things you were doing before were your tickets to becoming rich. There is, in fact, only one proven way, the same way billionaires like Oprah Winfrey, Rihanna, Sarah Blakely, Elon Musk used to get as wealthy as they are today. And the similar thing amongst their names is, they are all self-made billionaires, meaning that they built their wealth from scratch and worked their way up to the top. 
You know what this means? It means you can do it too. Those dreams of yours do not have to die. You can become as rich as you have always desired, but you won't get all of this by chasing money. I bet you're now asking yourself, if chasing money, saving money, and working hard won't make me rich, then what will? I'll tell you what, but before that, you should know that it is very natural that when you are in search of money, you may find yourself switching from one means of making money to another, so you can get the amount of money you're looking for to satisfy your needs. Almost everybody believes this is the road to success. Go to school, get good grades, graduate, find a decent job, save money, invest in the stock market, max out your 401k, cut your credit cards, clip coupons, and someday, when you're 60, you'll be rich. But this isn't it. If you're looking to be as wealthy as possible, you won't make money this way. If you had thought you could make money this way, then you have indirectly been playing the game in which money is the mischievous cat in your neighborhood that you want to catch at all cost. And each time you chase it around the neighborhood, it eludes you, rendering all of your efforts futile. This is an indication that you've been doing it all wrong because chasing money won't make you rich. But if you stopped chasing the cat and attracted it instead, you wouldn't have to spend all of your time in your futile, crazy cat chase. If you could do something that would attract the cat to willingly come and sit on your lap instead, this would be easier and faster than your non-stop game of chase. Now, this has answered your question and satisfied your curiosity, but let's break this down step by step. In order to make the kind of money you desire, you need to stop chasing money and start chasing needs. By chasing needs, you keep your eyes peeled for what the people around you need. And once you're able to find out what their needs are, you should go ahead and fulfill their needs in exchange for something you need. This makes it a win-win situation for you and the people to whom you provide to. Notice that this way, you don't go around chasing money. Instead, it comes to you as a result of the solution you provided for people. You can do this by creating businesses that solve needs. It's simple, look around you and see what the people really need. While doing so, make sure your business is scalable and not confined to a location. If you're a math tutor, holding physical classes and teaching just a small number of people will not make you as rich as you want. Instead, turning your lessons into an online course that you can sell to thousands of people around the world will fetch you more money in less time. This being said, do not go into a business because your neighbor just opened one or because you've been thinking of a side hustle. Instead, open a business with the intent of meeting the needs of people, make it scalable, and this will make money come to you. If your business provides value, then you're on the winning end. By providing value and solving problems that consumers deal with on a daily basis, you attract money, which they will give you in return for the value you provide. Regardless of whether your business offers a service or a commodity, it is important that it addresses issues and satisfies people's needs. To be realistic, people or consumers do not care what your dream is. They do not care who you want to prove wrong. People do not want to know your selfish desire to become rich or to follow what you love so you could become rich. People care about what your business can provide to them so they can consume. They are all about how your business helps meet their needs. If it satisfies them and makes their life easier. If it educates them or adds value to their lives. For people, it's all about what's in it for me. So when you want to start a business or an income stream, you should never put money first. Instead, you should ask yourself this question. Why should people care about what I'm doing? And am I providing something valuable so they can get a benefit from it? Once you can answer these questions, then you're on the right path to attracting money. In the money world, it is true that the more problems you solve and the more value you provide, the more money you attract. If you solve a $100 problem, you attract $100. If you solve a $1,000 problem, you attract $1,000. The more problems you solve, value you provide, needs you meet, and solutions you give, the more money you make. This is the secret of getting rich. Debunk the concept that says, for money to follow, you have to do what you love. Unless the thing you love is a problem solver, a value provider, and meets the needs of the people around you and society at large, you can do it. If it doesn't, you should focus more on the things that will benefit others while also generating money for you. Always remember that doing what you love puts you in a crowded marketplace with depressed margins and huge competition. However, if you're able to outrun your competitors by doing a better job than them and providing people with what other businesses or markets are not offering to them, then you can get ahead of the competition. 
Also, you don't need to create a business or a product out of thin air. Instead, find a low competitive market and do better than your competitors. For example, let's take the most popular social media sites right now, Instagram and TikTok. Who knew that an app that appeared to be a copycat of Instagram would go viral and become Instagram's number one competitor? Ironically, TikTok forced Instagram to create Instagram Reels in order for Instagram to keep up with TikTok's growth. TikTok is a social media platform where users go for entertainment purposes, mainly to watch random funny videos, short tutorials, narrative-driven stories, and even educational content. On the other hand, Instagram is the favorite social media platform for catching up with friends and checking on influencers and brands. A major role in this battle was the marketing strategy. TikTok made its app look more entertaining and added new features like avatars, text-to-speech, trending videos, and remixes. What TikTok did was find a low competition market and outperformed Instagram. This is what I'm talking about. Your idea or business doesn't need to be entirely brand new. You could be the next TikTok. All you need is to find your Instagram and do better. Do not think of being the first to build the first time machine. Instead, leverage on what's already there. The richest among us are those who give the most of themselves to others and are always looking for ways to provide value to the world. For some of you, this game is not a game of money, but a game of freedom. The freedom to travel the world. The freedom of not having to wake up at 7 o'clock to get to work. The freedom to do all the fun things you want. The freedom to spend your time with your loved ones, not waiting till retirement to live your best life. And the freedom to have cars or other stuff that you enjoy having. This is the freedom I'm talking about. Being rich isn't all about the feeling you get in return, but the freedom it gives in return. Do not forget, the degree to which you can become wealthy is directly proportional to the value you give, the solutions you provide, and the needs you meet. This is the ultimate equation to become rich. So stop chasing money, start finding problems, and provide solutions to people's needs. We hope you enjoyed this video and learned a lot from it. Don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below. See you in the next video.